장순인데 와 너무 불안해요 Yes, it's all around here. And until we planned this trip, I'd never heard of the place. What a hidden little tourist attraction this place is. Kind of, kind of reminds me of Park Bang. That's what we need. I bet you that doesn't make a whirring noise. That's what we need, honey. One of them. Oh, my is better. <laughs> my is better. Yeah. Rado's complaining all the time. He's going. Yeah. Because too on and go around the country already. Yeah. From uh, the south to the north. We've seen a little hidden street down here with a guest house at the end of it. So we're going to duck down there, find um. A guest house that has adequate parking, hey? Information centre here. Business part, busy part of the street there. It's all happening. And the market's just here. You can get some good parking here. This looks like the go, doesn't it? The GL. Another bloody Hilux. It's a message, isn't it? Sending me a message. Welcome to Mung Kwa, guys. What a surprise this is. Looking forward to a feed tonight. Should be uh, heavily influenced by Vietnamese cuisine. Because we're not far away. Mung, Mung Mai is the next uh, big village and then the border. It's only about 20k I think. The market's up through there. It's a very old place isn't it? Go to the information first. Yeah, yeah we'll go to the information centre. I bet you there's some cool alleyways up into um this hillside village there. This is where we go, Fongsali Province Department, Mungkua District of Information, Culture and Tourism. Very noisy up there, aren't they? Must be Wednesday, are they beers? About 3.30, 3.30 in the afternoon. Of course it's the afternoon. So, you do get a lot of people coming up here for trekking, guys. Ask for the um, Yeah, and we'll steal this park if there's a bit, this is, yeah. I'll stand here until you find out the info so nobody takes it. Um, a lot of people do come up here to do trekking up to Aka tribes, canoe tribes, up in the hills, things like that. Uh, from one day day trips to two days, three days trekking. So, and you've got this beautiful little village. In a lot of these undeveloped tourist areas like this out of the way, you'll, 
80,000? 80, okay, I'm just talking to my viewers, mate. Hello. Hello. <laughs> what was I saying? You just don't want me to on your camera, In right? <laughs> Where you don't have riverboat cruises and things like that, you would, you know, and zip lining and everything you'd find in the main popular tourist attractions. In these out of the way places, you'll find the, the main tourist attractions is trekking. You know, to, a guide will take you in a tuk tuk, then walk up into the mountains, uh, showing you around places. Um, because nothing is developed. It's a matter of just giving you guys the wheels and showing you where to go, taking you there. When you've got a vehicle of your own, we see these type of villages along the road and we can turn off and see it. Yeah. It's good for those people who catch buses out this way, the chicken and watermelon buses, and then they can jump in a tuk-tuk and go visit these villages. I, I understand that. Uh, but when you've got your own vehicle, or you're, you're on a motorbike, you don't really need that. You just need, and they do have the information in there on where to go to these villages. So, gives you a choice. You can take a guide with you or go yourself. But I'm just surprised at how many bloody guest houses there is. It must cop a lot of tourists. And the dude was saying it is an international border and he's under the impression Todd can cross there with a visa on arrival. We're going to put him to the test, I think. I, I'm not so sure. Oh, no. Parked out the front. This is it, guys. It is an old place, but we just need a bed, right? 80,000 kit. We did ask for floor. I'm sure the room's upstairs and a bit nicer. I'm tired of carrying the bags up and down. 80,000 kit. A bit under eight Aussie bucks. About five US. That's all we need. It's got a Ferrung toilet. The bathroom is the best thing of it. Best part of it. That'll do us, hey? Yeah. <laughs> you just have to well, Maybe they've painted out with some blood splatter or something. These are handy. I like these when you come to these places because we've usually got a shit ton of little bags, camera bags, handbags, brecky bags, just to keep them up. And you've got limited floor space. So if you can get them up there, I'm pretty happy with that. Green whiskey. Green whiskey. In the water bottles, what's in the other ones? Water? Cocoa, you think? Cocoa, you This whiskey too. Whiskey White too. Whiskey, green whiskey. Jeez, you wouldn't want to pick the water up by mistake and just. Oh, 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 go. Tadai. Tadai. Sam Sipha. Sam Sipha. $3.50 Oz, about. Bit over two US dollars. Bit of a walking tour of Mungkwa. Have seen a few, a couple of foreigners here. Um, mainly of the backpacking variety. Did they have a bloody sale on Hiluxes or something? One, two, three. Oh, the variety one there, but still. They're just rubbing it in, I think. That would have been a good place to stay. Be stuffed or I'd be lugging our cases up to the top though. I'll get a view from the drain up there. Who else has been here? Any of my viewers been here? Let us know what you thought of it. As I said, didn't know about it. And I'm wondering how you've got up here. There's no slow boat rides up here, is there? Tours? But because of the dam. What's your, how about putting your shoes on properly? 
and that that won't happen, mate. That won't. Nini's been tripping over and twisting her ankle. The one she broke, because she likes to wear her shoes like this, like slippers. Okay, there's, there's riverboat tours. The information dude didn't say that. And I'm guessing by the state of this area down here, riverboat tourism coming up by river has stopped. Because this takes you down to the pier. Kind of reminds me of a um, little village of um, Hatsa. Um, up in Fongsa, up near Fongsa Lee that we went to. The dams on the Namu had killed all the river trade, all the river tourism. Because not far along here, there is a dam. The river is just sitting still, isn't it? The boat station to yep. take the tour. Take boat tour. boat tour. To you Nong can Kiel. go to Nong Kiel. Yeah. To Nong Kiel, to Mueang Ngoi. To Mueang Ngoi, to Nong Kiel by boat. Because they will take you to the, the dam. Ah, oh, so you got to get off. Of the dam, yep. get off there. Then okay. the boat from Nong Kiel and Mueang Ngoi. How many take. times do they do that? Just once? Just there's just the one dam? Yeah. Just one dam? Okay. One dam. Where are they taking the beer? <laughs> Where's <laughs> the beer there go? <laughs> To the village. To the villages. Uh, where? Hatsa. Not Hatsa. Another Hatsa. Oh, another Hatsa. Okay. Yeah. That's way upstream. Hatsa Mung Noi. Hatsa Mung Noi. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah. We've just walked up from the boat ramp. She's just down there. Going to walk around to the village bridge where the um, Namu meets the Nam Pak River. Further down here is the dam. We're not going that far, but we will be crossing the... Did we cross the river coming into town? Hello. Ben Jung Day. Sabadi. Hello. <laughs> Bill out. <laughs> Is that a restaurant up there? Oh, Hana Hana, you don't have a Yeah. Hey, I'm going there to move. Yeah, you feel it? You have to walk to the bridge first. Yeah, we walk to the bridge first. Yeah. This is a good spot, but. I'd, I, I, I'd rather eat in somewhere, a local place like that, rather than where all the other farangs hang out. More characters here. I've found that where all the backpackers and farangs hang out, they don't like to talk to each other. They, they pretend you, that you're not there, that they're not seeing another farang in the place they're just newly discovering. You know what I mean? This is my place, I found it first, yeah, there's no other farangs here. No, nah, can't see you. It's kind of the feel I get. Farangs do speak to you, but some some are like that. <laughs> Have a go at. Didn't see many of them up in Fong Sa Lee, did we? Two bloody coal for palm trees up there. You backpackers, looking for a new interesting place? To travel in Lao, you've done the Vang Vang, you've done the Wang Pabang, you've done the Pak Bang. Have you done the Mung Kwa, the Mung Mai? It's screaming out to you, it is. You just would like it up here. Lots of trekking, lots of trekking high into the mountains to see the Akar, the Kamu. Who else? Akar, Kamu, who else was there, Nini? Uh, most is Kamu. Kamu. Aka, this. Aka is outside around. Yeah. Kamu in, in, in town. And we've seen some Thai dum coming in also. Yeah. And we're close to the Vietnamese border. Don't know what this is. Mm -hmm. 
another little restaurant farms down here this is the Nampak PHAK the river we're on the little suspension bridge on getting here Hello Sabadi <laughs> Ciao Sabadi Bo <laughs> Good, Ben Jung Day <laughs> Be allow, be allow Be allow, be allow it's a little restaurant Yeah How's this look? Ciao Su Nyang Ciao Su Nyang No, she's shy <laughs> Shy His boat. No leaks in that thing, hey. This is this is their longboat carport. It's their shed. Keeps the weather off it. Okay. And that'd work. Keep it out of the weather. Wrap it up in tarp, wire some um corrugated iron onto it. The local hoons. The engine strip down there. Okay, some tourists there. It's not the way we came in. We came in this way and turned left. We will be going out of town across this river. That takes you to uh, Mong Mai. I'm just wondering if those tourists, the, the bike tour, come from Vietnam. We are still in the province of Phong Sa Le. I did not realise um, there were so many large towns and villages that had so much to offer in Phong Sa Le. Because, to be honest, you don't hear that that much you don't I've never really gone looking for YouTube videos of it but they just haven't been popping up from other YouTubers that have toured here but just in you know in this province itself they have just as many cool places as or, or probably more more so than other places other provinces it is just a long way from the airports when you fly in Maybe that's a deterrent. Another deterrent would be how to get here. Yeah, you've had one form of um, mode of transport cut off because of the dam. So a lot of people like doing that. That's why they cross from near Chiang, Chiang Rai into Bacau at Boisai, catch the riverboat down through Park Bang and Luang Prabang. It's a good adventure. Yeah. Um, I keep going on about it, but the dams have ruined a valuable source of income, tourist money, new money coming into the, the country by putting those dams there. Seven dams on the Namu. You don't want to be getting on and off, on and off, on and off bloody boats just to have an adventure to walk around the dams. It's enough of that, Todd. It's enough of that. Look at that. That pun for the oranges, which is 75, uh, 75 Aussie cents. Nene's pretty happy with herself. He's pretty happy with himself too. He's smiling, thinking, I'll bloody run you over if you don't move for her. Nene's happy because she's found the bridge she's been looking for. Boat. So baby. You go mate. How picturesque is this place? 
another little gem. And here comes these Farangs again. I'm sure I bumped into them up at Pong Sali. Starting to get a bit of furl on there with the CIA and they're following me. Oh no. That's this bridge making that noise. Look at the movement of it. There we go. There's things like that you don't want to step on. Stick to the centre where these iron buddy girders are. Hey boys, Ben Jung Day. Huh? Ben Jung Day. How you going? Yeah, I know you understand me. You're just shocked. Good restaurant there too. Ben Jung Day. Nah, he's too, too cool for school. Hello. Hello. Ciao, Sunya. Yeah? No. No. <laughs> no? No? You know English. A lot of people here know English. Well, this little dude over here just walked past us. One's name was M, the other one was shit. <laughs> Serious. No. Your name's now? You're scaring me. You're, you're, no. yeah. yeah. Listen to this bridge, it's making far too much noise. And villages with gardens right below it. <laughs> You're spitting food out of your mouth. Hey, food. You, you want food? I got none. I got I none. No, no. I ah, people been giving you money, and now you think that's what tourists are good for? Just money. So she wasn't waving. She was putting a money hand out for money. No, doesn't work with me that one. <laughs> <laughs> Bookhead. <laughs> there we go. The afternoon announcement. Music playing. Okay, it's just started. It's one of those villages. Another little village you'd just love to get lost in, hey? seen more tourists here in this one village than I've seen the entire trip. I think I've seen two other people in Fong Salik now. Seen a couple and Captain Feathersword. Oh, I wish I'd got him on camera. He had bright red, wide baggy cotton pants, a canary yellow bloody linen shirt and a black vest. All he needed was a bloody pirate hat and a friggin' feather. You're watching this dude, here you go. Yeah. <laughs> That's this. Uh, it might be some form of spirit catcher or something. Do you know what that is, Nini? Protect the house. Okay. Protect the house from everything bad thing. Okay. And they have it connected to the back back alley fence too. Yeah, the gate. Okay. Cop J. Cop J. Lots of ideal um, viewing points from here. Excuse me, duck.
walk across the big bridge and find a restaurant to eat at. Certainly own it. It was a good drive here today. The car's still making noises, but we're pretending we can't hear it. I just hope it sees this trip out. I do. I do. A message to some of the backpackers and probably not just the backpackers. I know it is hard to not do, but it's not a good thing giving children money just because they're cute. Because what it does is train them to put their hand out asking every furung for money. And they're not working for it. You're turning them into beggars. So, yeah. Now the little girl that was on the bridge over here come up and just put her hand out and said, money, money. No, she's obviously been given money by foreigners before for doing nothing except for looking cute. And I can feel this bloody bridge moving on. So yeah, unless they're actually selling you something, like you can do whatever you like, but you're encouraging children and a whole generation of people to beg. Get them to do something for the money. You like places like this, don't yeah. you? And it Very reminded easy. Nini of Nong Kyo. And it does. Nong Kyo and Park Bang. Park Bang. Nong Kyo is the one with the big ass bridge. And the bridge in Nong Kyo is much, much nicer than that one. But that's got a good view of the little walking bridge. But towns like this, yeah. Park Bang, Nong Kyo. Here. Even the little village of huts are up in uh, Phong Sa Lee. These hillside river villages have just got a certain appeal about them, haven't they? Look at that. It's a good little spot, isn't it? Just a people watch right here on the intersection. But it's a bit of a main drag here. It does look really cool. Mong Kwa, main drag. didn't see that market Nene, she'll want to go down there I want to go down there so we'll go down there how to see that how do you see the I was just looking at this lady and then wondered where people were coming from let's do it let's do it yeah Fish looking things. Okay. See many different things here, aren't we? What's this? Little poppy seeds. 
We've got an escapee. He's getting out. Okay, continue walking, Todd. How are you, dude? Where's that gal? That goes nowhere. Somebody's house. Hello. Another very interesting market, hey? Okay, we did walk down along this back street. There was a butcher shop here. Restaurant right here. Hey, honey. What are these things? Is this like blood? Woman, <laughs> Like something is plastic from the from the tree. From a tree, and it's and just. And they use to press it. To join. Oh. Don't know. To stick something, like in in your knife. Yeah. And you take this to stick. Oh, this is like a glue. Yeah. yeah Sticky but it's stuff. From the tree. Oh yeah. That's. Flowers is kikang as the Lao people. That feels kikang. like timber. What is it's like a, a sap dried that they use for glue, I guess. That's how it translated to me. Let us know if um, Nini done a good job of translating it and me understanding it. Out through the clothing section. It is a maze, isn't it? It is a rabbit warren, this place. We'll go out this way. Because I know where that goes. Because that's the side street down there. They're starting to pull things in and close things up. Got to look at it just in time. There we go. Um, there was the next street down. We haven't seen any restaurants along here, have we? There was yeah. a good one on the intersection yes, up there. Yes. Yeah. Yes. We'll have a look at their menu, the Farang menu. And there was a good one right on the intersection you walked past, but it looked very interesting. You could watch the people and the bikes and the cars and everything go by. Or sit down here with the Farangs that don't like to talk to other Farangs. <laughs> <laughs> I don't understand why Farang not talk with other Farangs. But have you seen it? Yeah. Yeah, they'll walk past yeah, not... just staring straight ahead or looking down just as if they can't see you. No. But these kids can see me. Hello. Hello. Yeah, hello. Yeah. Very friendly hello. children up here. I will stroll the merry way and jump the hedges first I will drink clear clean water for to quench my thirst I'll go watch the ferry boats and I'll get high On the blue ocean against the water sky I will walk and talk in gardens all wet with rain I will never ever ever grow so old again Yeah. 
the pain We shall walk and talk in gardens on misty wet with rain I shall never, ever, ever grow 